asking the community to take the virus seriously. 13 on your side's Alexander Rangel joins us from El Centro with the latest from the cases in the valley. If you pass by the El Centro Hospital, you may have noticed these huge tents outside and you may be wondering what exactly is going on. Are cases increasing? Is there enough beds available? Well, yes, cases are increasing and there is enough capacity at the hospital, but the hospital says the numbers they're seeing right now are much higher than the numbers they saw during the first wave. 62 patients today sitting in our hospital. We're back again to, to the first wave. We're three patients away from the highest of that we've ever had. But by the end of this week, we're going to be much higher than that. We're looking at 80 patients COVID positive. With a current spike in cases, Dr. Edwards says the spike expected in the next few weeks due to Thanksgiving gatherings, followed by Christmas celebrations, is concerning. From everything I've seen at the skate park to Glamis, to whatever is in between. Uh, people are not watching what they're doing and they're not really following the public health order that's out there. Dr. Edwards says the longer spikes continue to occur, the more staff continues to get sick and fatigued. It's a battle they have been fighting for nine months now. Fortunately, the hospital has learned a lot from the first wave, increasing bed capacity both inside and outside the hospital. Nearly 50 patients can be treated at their temporary tent facility. It's room they made for non-COVID patients, making more room inside the hospital for coronavirus patients. But we've done a lot to increase capacity. We've done a lot to treat. We've done a lot to actually care for you early on. So we've learned a lot of lessons. And that's why some are still going home quarantine, not needing to be admitted to the hospital. That's good news. But what's not good news is that the number is just skyrocketing and will continue to skyrocket, which means in reality, the message we're sending out to the public is not being listened to. And I don't know how to tell folks, this is for real. This disease is ferocious. Dr. Edwards says it's really time to buckle down to decrease the spread of the virus. We all must do our part. Hospital transfers out of county have been kept to a minimal. Dr. Edwards says the coming days will be very telling for what lies ahead with the second wave. The temporary tents are not meant to treat COVID-19 patients, but the hospital says they do have the ability to turn them into a COVID-19 unit if the need be. Reporting in El Centro, Alexandra Rangel. Morning tonight, the governor of California is saying if trends continue, drastic action will be necessary. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom says he will take action, including reinstating stay at home orders for most of the state as soon as tomorrow for regions with concerning hospitalizations and ICU capacity, including Imperial County, where there are currently 1.2 million cases of COVID-19 in California. In Southern California, about 74% of intensive